What is the difference between strong and weak acids? You may wonder why I picked this picture. Actually, this photograph shows damage of acid rain in a forest. It's to cause some of the deforestation we see in the trees. So let's look at the difference between strong and weak acids. Well, first of all, what are strong acids? An example of a strong acid is HCl. So what does HCl do? Well, the first thing, there's hydrogen chloride gas. This is a molecule, and it dissolves in water. So when you put HCl gas in water, it dissolves. And so the next step is, what makes HCl a strong acid? Not only does it dissolve in water, but it ionizes in water. Now what does that mean? That means when HCl is in water, when you first look at HCl, when you first look at HCl, HCl written like this is a gas. It's a molecule. It's one hydrogen covalently bonded to one chlorine. So that's a covalent bond. But after it ionizes, it's completely ions. Every single one of those is now a proton, an H plus, or a chloride ion. At the end, when it ionizes, there is no more HCl gas left. There's no more covalent molecules. It's all ionized particles. Another way to write that is to say HCl plus water gives us hydronium plus chloride ion. Hydronium is really the same thing as a proton. We're talking about these solutions. So, how would this look? Well, if you put HCl in water, what happens? Every single particle is together. Remember we said, we use this arrow right here to say that it reacts completely. It means there is no more hydrogen bonded to chlorine. Every single one of those are separated. So, in this drawing, we see the hydrogens are all separated. There's a anion, which would be a chloride ion, the, the dark blue one, and you see every single proton is separated. Not a single one is combined. Every single one is separated. That's a sign of a strong acid. When every single particle has been separated, that is a strong acid. So just remember also in this drawing that we have the proton is represented as a hydronium, and so like here in the drawing we see it as a single uh, proton, a single atom. So what is a weak acid? Well, a weak acid is a little bit different. First of all, HF is a weak acid, hydrogen fluoride. So how does that work? Well, first of all, the first step is exactly the same. Hydrogen fluoride dissolves in water. Now, dissolves just means when you put it into water, it mixes. And so it dissolves. So you see hydrogen fluoride gas plus water forms aqueous hydrogen fluoride. So that step's the same. The second step is what's different for weak acid. In the second step, HF only partially ionizes, so it ionizes less than 100%. So how does that look different? Well, it looks like the same reaction, but the big difference here is that have an equilibrium arrow. That means it doesn't go completely. At the end of the reaction, there's still a lot of HF left, and there are, there are protons or R fluoride ions, but not very many. And also remember another way to write that is hydrogen fluoride plus water gives you hydronium plus fluoride ion. So this reaction looks the same, but the results are very different. There's, not, uh, there's a lot of HF left. Uh, if it was a strong acid, every single one of those would be gone. And there's only a few hydronium and fluoride ions or protons and fluoride ions. Now, how would that look? Now let's go back to our strong acid. If you look at our strong acid, remember every single H and every single Cl when it ionizes is separated. So there's a, H, a proton by itself, there's a chloride ion by itself, completely separated 100%. Now if we look at the weak acids, only a few are separated. Now the hydrogen fluoride is represented by the two atoms that are combined here, and, the, and so we'd say the, the F would be the green one and the proton would be the white one. And so most of the hydrogen fluorides are still combined. We count all those are still together. Notice out of all these we show one that is combined to make a hydronium ion. And notice this is maybe possibly another one. And there's only a couple of fluoride ions. So only a few of the products. We have mostly reactants. So you have mostly things that have acids that have dissolved, but you, ha you haven't produced very many ions. So there's only a few ions in the solution. This brings also to mind another term, an electrolyte. Strong acids would be strong or great electrolytes because every single molecule separates and made, makes ions. Weak acids would be weak electrolytes. So if you put a light bulb in this solution, it would just burn dimly. Let's look some, at some more of this. 
So how, uh, these are the, another comparison between strong versus weak acids. On the top we have, if we separate this out down the center, at the top we have our strong acid. At the very initial amount of the strong acid, we see it's all HA. But after the reaction, uh, every, there's no HA left. Every single H and every single A- is split, so it's all protons and anions. And also in the beaker you see every single one split. That's for our strong acid. Now if we go to the weak acid, it starts off exactly the same. Every single bit dissolved, but how much ionized? Only a small portion of those ionized. So you don't have very many protons, very many anions in solution. That's why in the weak acid, it would be also a weak electrolyte. A strong acid would be a strong electrolyte. So very few ions in the weak acid, and so that's why things like vinegar would be considered weak acids because there's not as many protons or hydronium ions produced when it's in solution. One last thing. So what are the strong acids? Well, I'm going to ask you to memorize the strong acids. There's six of those. So here are six strong acids. We've already told one. It's HCl, hydrochloric acid. That's acid number one. Acid number two. HBr, hydrobromic acid. Acid number three, HI, not high, it's hydroiodic acid. Acid number four, HNO3, that's nitric acid. Acid number five is HClO4, that is perchloric acid. And our final strong acid of the six is H2SO4, that is sulfuric acid. So I'm going to ask you to memorize all six of these strong, strong acids. So all six of the strong acids. Next, what are the weak acids? Weak acids are all other acids. So if you remember, memorize the six strong acids, all you have to remember is all the other acids are weak. So if you're given a list of acids, how do you tell what's strong? How do you tell what's weak? You just remember the strong acids. So let's, let's pick out the strong acids from this list from the six that we just talked about. So what's the first one you see? Hopefully it's hydrochloric acid. That's a strong acid. There's another one, HClO4, perchloric acid. That's a strong acid. Let's keep going. I see another one, H2SO4, sulfuric acid. That's our fourth strong acid on the list. Let's see another one. HNO3, nitric acid. So we have four of our six strong acids on this list. So uh, for strong acids, you need to remember, uh, remember they ionize completely. And then your list of six, and you're pretty well done. I love chemistry. I love chemistry. I love chemistry.